from a quiet block in Hickory Hill to a student apartment complex near the U of M campus. Memphis police staying busy investigating two shootings. Combined, more than 100 rounds were fired. Thanks for joining us, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. One of those shootings was deadly and a 15 year old was critically injured. And police are searching for suspects tonight. Local 24 News reporter Annette Pegler has tonight's top story. She's live from the Mount Moriah Police Station in Hickory Hill. Annette, what can you tell us? Well, Katina and Richard, I talked to two family members off camera tonight, and they have no idea who may have done this. They are just praying that that 15-year-old girl makes it out alive. Now, officers responded to the 5900 block of Hickory Leaf, Leaf Cove just before one this morning to find two victims. Memphis police say a man died from his injuries in that shooting. Medics rushed a 15-year-old girl to the hospital with critical injuries. Memphis police say the shooter or shooters shot at the home roughly 80 times, and a motive is unknown at this time. Memphis police are still searching for a suspect or suspects in this case. I knocked on several neighbors' doors and they heard the gunshots, but many of them were too frightened to go on camera with us tonight. And Royal Parson is out of jail on a $5,000 bond for shooting an AR-15 outside of an apartment complex near the University of Memphis. He is charged with reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. Investigators say Parson fired the gun Saturday night at the Gather Apartments in the 3600 block of Southern Avenue. Memphis police say one of the bullets went into an apartment and through a bedroom wall. And again, no one was injured. Now back to that shooting in Hickory Hill. That was the city's ninth homicide. And again, no arrests have been made. So if you have any information that could help Memphis police solve both of these cases, please call the Memphis Police Department. Reporting live in Fox Meadows and at Pegler Local 24 News.